Hey there, I'm Philip from Harder Studios and I'm excited to present you the excellent hitbox component. It was specially designed for shooter game projects and it enables you to quickly set up customized hitboxes without much hustle. Let's start with a brief overview of how the component works internally. Upon the construction script, the component will attach hitboxes to your character bones. It does this by reading the values from a preset data asset. With this pack, there are already two presets included. One which consists mainly of boxes and the other one which consists mainly of capsules. There are multiple reasons why we decided to use data assets for this component. They allow you to save presets, change values quickly and keep you organized. I will demonstrate this on the mannequin up here. We can easily swap the data asset and as you see, the hitboxes are now mainly consisting of capsules and set of boxes. You can use any skeleton mesh you like. For example, this rabbit. Let's open this data asset so you get a quick look of what you can expect inside. Here you will find all hitbox definitions. You can choose to create boxes, capsules or spheres. This rabbit has three capsules defined. And if you open this entry, you will see all the options you have to customize a specific hitbox. Let's get back to our character. I would like to show you how easy it is to change the size of a specific hitbox. Let's say I wanted to make headshots harder to hit. I simply open the data asset and find my hitbox definitions for the head. To shrink the hitbox, I simply decrease these transform values. As you see, this made the hitbox smaller. Nice. You can choose to build a data asset from scratch or you simply start from one we provided with this component. What you can also do is to assign damage multipliers to each hitbox. For instance, the hitbox is labeled as critical. And if I scroll down a little bit, we will see the damage multipliers definition. Any hitbox assigned with the critical damage multiplier will result in increased damage by a factor of two. This means that your character will take twice as much damage if he gets hit in the head. This works with a simple enum list. Let's have a look. The architecture allows you to customize the system efficiently to your likings. Let me demonstrate this by adding a new entry to our list. I want damage to the hands to be even lower than on limbs. I simply click on the add button and give it a name, for example, hands. We need to recompile the data as a blueprint so the changes will be updated inside the engine. If I open the data asset again, we will see that it was extended by our new entry. I can now find the hands hitboxes and assign our new enum. Hits on the hands will now result in lower damage, even lower than on limbs. As you just saw, you could extend the list to make your game even more realistic if you like to. This customer said, this is an amazing system and the best hitbox component on the marketplace. In conclusion, our hitbox component is a flexible, clean, and easy to implement system to create hitboxes for your characters. It is designed to be accessible for anyone, whether you are a beginner or expert in the Unreal Engine. And it only takes a few simple steps to get the system running in your project. Get it now and also join our Discord server for excellent support. And as always, embrace excellence.